Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, I feel like you should be singing Kumbaya at the beginning of this video. Uh, <laughs> so let me let me preface this right right off the bat. I'm going to talk about a couple things that uh, may seem like a tax or they're going to tick you off, and they, they are not. They're not meant that way at all. At all. Um, really, they're just they're just meant to challenge your thinking a little bit. And you know, because I've had my thinking challenged, and I've enjoyed that. Um, certainly, you know, in, in if you watch the evolution of this channel, actually, and my evolution, I suppose. Um, you've noticed that I probably, you know, changed my views on some things. And, you know, it's, it's because of just constantly having my thinking challenged. You know, sometimes I, I examine new ideas and I come away just saying, well, you know, with a stronger belief in what I've already believed. Sometimes I, I you know, go away thinking, yeah, I, st I still believe what I do. But, you know, um, you know, other times I really come away scratching my head, not sure what the heck I think. And sometimes I've had my thinking radically altered. So, you know, anyhow, just putting that out there. This, this is friendly. This is not this is not meant as an attack in any way. But I want to talk about... Um, you know, uh, complex rule systems just a little bit and, and just from a couple different angles in terms of like, you know, justification for them and just challenging a couple justifications. You know, not in a mean way, <laughs> just challenging them. So, you know, it, it just it, it make you think. So here's the thing, you know, uh, same old G had a couple videos. Um, one was, uh, I think it was a rupture in culture, 7C, talking about 7C second edition and how it became a hybrid game where, you know, incorporated elements of storytelling games. And the other, um, the other video we had, I've already talked about it a little bit, but it was talking about like dumbed down games, you know, and, and the, the premise, of course, was that, um, not of course, but the premise was that, you know, rules like games are kind of dumbed down because, you know, anybody can play them as opposed to a complex, you know, a game with a complex set of rules and systems and subsystems, which it takes a smarter person to play. So I'm going to, you know, let's, let's challenge that and say, well, what if the reverse is actually true? And, you know, bef let that hang for a second. <laughs> and let me go back to this original, um, original idea, or, you know, the first one I talked about, I suppose, would be it. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, I, I've talked in the past, you know, a couple, few times, probably uh, too, too, too many times, about, um, you know, complex rule systems such as, you know, we'll, we'll take one side, which would be like Pathfinder D20, you know, where the, where the, the rules are complex, and the proponents of those rules like them, you know, because they simulate a lot of stuff, or, you know, emulate what, whatever it is, you know, there's use rope skills, for crying out loud. Um, and they, they, you know, the proponents will, will say, in a lot of cases, um, that they like this because it removes, removes DM fiat, because the rule's in there. You know, no longer does, you know, do we have to, um, you know, um, basically, you know, uh, wait for the game master to make this ruling. It's, it's already in there. We don't, we don't have to trust him to make a fair ruling. That's what I'm getting at. And on the other side, you know, and, and same old G talked about a little bit in, in the, uh, the video on, on Seven Seas and a rupture in culture. You know, there's, you know, there's more of like a storytelling or I guess hybrid, you know, modern games like he was talking about where they've hybridized, you know, elements from both role playing and storytelling games. Um, where, you know, there's rules that handle a lot of, um, you know, of the, of the collective narrative uh, and the, um, you know, more social interactions. You know, I, the examples he gave were, were things like, you know, love or uh, political intrigue and whatnot. And once again, you know, you're not relying on DM fiat. There's rules in there for how all that happens, you know. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, prescribed to a certain extent, I guess would be the way. So in both cases, you've got complex, you know, systems, subsystems, the whole nine yards, you know, which people like or, or, or you, know, it, you know, one of the motivations, not the only motivation, but one of the motivations is because it does, you don't have to worry about this DM fee and, and, you know, you as a player can feel secure that you're not going to get screwed over, you know, or that you're going to get your, you know, your agency that is just prescribed systems for that, you know. So let me challenge it for a second. What if, um, no, first of all, Right off the bat, you know, if, if um, your primary motivation for wanting this complex rule set is because you don't trust your game master, you're playing with the wrong person. You know, I've said this many, many times. So, you know, the, the trust issues, I, I, I get it, I understand. But, like, I, if I don't trust somebody to that degree, I don't want to sit at the table with them doing anything. Okay, so that's kind of my take on that. But, you know, here's this other little, here's this other little exercise. You know, what if the dumbed-down games aren't the rules light ones? What if it's the complicated games that have systems and subsystems for everything? What if, if you're not that creative and you're not that intelligent, you need those things as a crutch in order to, you know, get to the state you want to get to, whatever whatever kind of experience, immersion, you know, story, whatever, whatever it is you're looking for. What if you can't do that on your own? So you need all those rules. So that's the dumbed down game. And the game for really intelligent and creative people is the rules light one where they can do it themselves and they don't need the help. What if that were true? What do you think? Is that true? Are the complex games, you know, the smart for ones for smart people and the simple ones dumbed down? Or is neither true? Like I said, just, just a friendly question and uh, with no clear answer. Have a good one.